going on today? Good. Well, I hope you enjoyed this poem. I wrote it in a poetry class by Dr. L in from um, Dr. L. Nixon, and I um, hope you like it. It's a listening and repetition poem. She called for her ten kids. She called for her ten kids who grew to be a close group of seven girls and three boys who toiled, walked to school, or were carried on a hip, who plowed the fields with her, kept the house, or cooked a meal. She called for her ten kids who played in an East Austin that had no fear of guns or gangs, who fought on, in wars on foreign lands and in their homes, who married and divorced more than once or died. She called for her 10 kids who amused themselves with sticks until darkness came, who wore handmade clothes she sewed and hemmed, who heard brown skin and accents don't belong past IH 35. She called for her 10 kids who learned English but didn't teach their children Spanish, who sat around the kitchen table and listened to her stories, who walked across stages at high school, college, or trade schools. She called for her 10 kids who came home, kids in tow, to help make the best tamales, who paid to have her teeth fixed when she was 75 years old, who chipped in to buy her and Daddy Mike a new house. She called for her 10 kids who called on her to babysit their sick and feverish children who called for her Kudendeta healing powers and El Ojo cures, who gave her 34 grandchildren who couldn't talk to her. She called on her 10 kids who drank, cheated, played cards, and still went to church, who made hot tears roll down her worn and parched face, who came in all sizes and were tall, short, round, and thin. She called on her 10 kids who came from three different fathers united by one mother, who defended her name, Paula Gonzalez Reyes Pineda, who said, Mama, you left too soon, and we miss you. She called for her 10 kids. Thank you.